me. <sighs> Not me being on this side of the couch. Like, I one know. thing about it. <laughs> See you, my courting. But where's the studio audience? Courting, go away to see a woman. Go away to Gambel. See a woman. Who's a see a shell? See a woman. I see tea. I mean, you can't not love it. La pomeniti o makoti ni kulmanga. When you guys saying makoti, you're talking about me. That is, that is bizarre. Well, you have every reason to be in love with it and think that it's bizarre <laughs> as well because, guys, our whole afternoon express family, uh, you know, was over the moon when we heard that Bali was engaged to be married. Uh, so our special guest on the show today had to be the gorgeous queen Bali Tembe herself. Bali, Friend. when, how, why, who? Everything. Let's start from the beginning. First and foremost, shout out to the Afternoon Express fairies. I see the decoration. I see the bride to be. I'm so excited Special about it. Special touches. I love yeah. that. So, how did this happen? This is a traditional yeah. process, which we know is not as simple as just asking the girl if she wants to, you know, marry you. Yeah. Who was involved? How long did it take planning this entire thing? Did you know about it? Uh, was it a surprise? Did you have a say in it? I mean, <laughs> well, me it. you know, Tabzi, as a first time bride, I 100% did not know the intricacies to the Lobola negotiations, mm. the speaking, the coming together of two very powerful families mm. to make magic when it comes to the love department. Mm. So, a lot of people have been asking me, Balisa, how did he ask you? Yeah. And baby boy, <laughs> I'm still waiting for you to get down on one knee. He didn't. But he decided to respect my father. Okay. He said, there is no way we're going to be 100% westernized for me just to go down on one knee. They don't yeah. even know who I am. Ekaya, where you come from, mm. back at home. So I need to do right by your family. I need to do right by your ancestors and the forefathers and God. So let me go in front of your father, ask for your hand in marriage, and um, I suppose the rest is history. So that, that was the Lomola Negotiations Day. Baby, all of that is nice, okay? But I know that the people at home want to know who the lucky guy is and how long you guys had been together and how did you know you were ready? Well, the man in my life. <laughs> who is the man in your life? <laughs> he is a beautiful black Zulu man who is born and raised in Mangozi. He goes by, well, my future surname, Ukubane. Ukubane. Yeah. so much. Hi, sweetheart. One thing about me, and um, no shame, uh, he is an incredible, hardworking man. He definitely is a creative, mm. he's passionate, he's very loving, yeah. very generous, he is a protector. Yeah. And he is everything I've asked for and prayed for. You love to laugh. We've yeah. seen on social media, at least I have seen, just how you guys connect through the magic of dance. <laughs> I mean, his dance moves a little bit. He can't so dance, respect. baby. I hate to say it. <laughs> he gets too excited yeah. and needs to do all the dances at once. But anyway. He's got a TikTok sensation, a TV <laughs> sensation as a wife. I'm sure he'll catch up very quickly. But people say congratulations every single time you post a random picture. Yeah. Balisa will post a picture of her toe and they'll say congratulations on your engagement. Does it feel as, as overwhelming and as exciting as it did the first time? Well, it's so funny that you say that, Tabzi, because a lot of people don't finish off the sentence. They just say congratulations. Yeah. When they see me for the first time, we bump in on the streets. And I'm like, for what? What happened? Yeah. Oh, yes! Yeah. And Thank yeah. you. So yeah. it's, it's taken me so long to yeah. kind of, for it to click in. But yeah, um, it definitely feels as special, as, as exciting. And a lot of things that people ask, or well, the yeah. top question is, how did we meet? Because well, that's, he, yeah, I was about to say he how. He feels like the female version of, or the, the male version of Balisa. Uh -huh. So yeah, we were very similar like that. So how did you meet? Well... Funny story. We actually met back in 2019. It was just the new year, January, yeah. and a friend of mine from Johannesburg came through to Cape Town and was just like, Balisa, I'm about to have a dinner with friends. Come through to the dinner. Yeah. I, I said, say less. I'm not doing anything tonight. Went to the dinner. Yeah. Uh, it was, was in serious? Camps Bay. Mm. And he was like, 
funny enough, driving to the dinner, he keeps speaking about this guy. Okay. This Ngubane boy. Okay. He's just like, he's funny, he's incredible, he's everything, and he's a very special, unique, quirky character. Yeah. So just, you know, brace yourself. And you brace were like, yourself. okay. So I was just like, who's this guy? Anyway. At that dinner, we basically, we didn't say two words to each other. We probably were just like, hi, this is my name. Oh, this is your name. Mm. Are you comfortable? Are you happy? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. That is it. Through the journey of that night, he loses his phone. Okay. Mind you, we have not spoken that much that night. Yes. He was just at the opposite end of the uh, of the dinner table. Yeah. And I was on the other side of the dinner table. But he had Hardly his spoke. eyes on you. I don't know. I don't know, Times. Are you being spicy now? I mean, but, he wouldn't. But he lost his phone. Back to the story. He lost his phone and... He left. I found the phone in the bathroom. And it was a public space, so it's weird that I... Not conveniently, but now you see me like I, I planned it. But I found his cell phone, and when I found his cell phone, I connected with his sister-in-law. Mm -hmm. So I DM'd his sister-in-law on, in, on Instagram, and I was just like, hey, sis, I found the phone. Like, this is a very wow. meaningful big phone. It's got huge campaigns on it. It's literally do or die. I needed to find the phone, and I found it. Yeah. As soon as I found it, she was just like, okay, girl, don't worry about dropping it off at his hotel, drop it off by me and I'll make sure it gets to him. No! She did like... exactly that. She did exactly that. But that was the last time I saw him. That was the last time I spoke to him. I had no contact with him before, um, after that. Yes. Fast forward to last year, 2022. Yeah. I go to an event at a vineyard and guess who's there? And I go there with my baby brother, Upongole, to those that watch the show know Upongole yeah. very, very well. Uh -huh. And I say, I whisper to my baby brother, I'm like, Bongo, you will not believe it. You see that guy at the back there? Yeah. I know him. I found his phone one day, yeah. but I don't think he remembers me. My baby brother's like, well, girl, he most certainly <laughs> remembers you because he's been staring at you for the past 10 minutes. Wow. Five minutes later, mm -hmm. he streamlines straight to me, yeah. marching, sits down. Hey, aren't you the girl that found my phone like three, four, five years back? And I was like, oh my goodness, I didn't think that you'd remember me. And we've been together ever since. A fairy tale, <laughs> ladies and gents. And the rest, as they say, is, is the future. I, know, the future. Oh, I like that friend. I love it. Congratulations, Bali. We're going to be hearing all about it. And I want all the details of what went down. We're going to be chatting to uh, a professor uh, who obviously knows all about that. And I'm very, very curious to know how it, yours went down. Yeah. Uh, a bit later on, Professor Shihao Ngubane uh, is going to be chatting to us on Zulu Customs when it comes to marriage negotiations. It's a big part of the process and you want to be part of that. We're going to be making some special things in the kitchen as well, so stay with us. Yes. <laughs>